Building the women's game around the world is an ongoing and immense challenge. Outside of Canada and the United States, things as basic as ice time and coaching can be a challenge. Hey, nice pass right there to Alex. Good one touch. Good job. Good hand. Mariel Batland is one of the best young players in Norway. And at the first IIHF women's high performance camp, she embraced an experience that she doesn't often get at home. Lots of ice time and coaching. It doesn't get that much ice uh, in the winter. Uh, the boys get more practices than us. Um, we just have two, uh, two ice practices in a week and that's, that's uh, uh, not good enough for us. We need uh, women's teams that are at a competitive level. And to have women teams that are in a competitive level, we also need coaches that are driven and that are enthusiastic uh, in working with women's hockey. And that's been a very difficult area because uh, there's not a lot of uh, men that have education and experience with coaching females. And so when they come in and they coach a female team, they may do that for a year or two and then they go back to coaching boys hockey. The IIHF Building the Game initiative is endeavoring to make sure that women get a chance to get better. Our goal is to um, move forward together and continue to grow the game and uh, win people over as we move forward. I think just the, the mentorship program and the fact that 12 countries or 14 countries have committed to it um, and part of them committing is they have to hire a full-time person in female hockey and you know one of the first ones we heard of Sweden hired Erica Holt you know so that's saying we want to stay we want to be involved and here we're willing to make that commitment and we slowly but surely have to help all the country all the, all the other countries make those steps too that is definitely a longer term view right now for countries like Norway it's about making sure that good young players, like Mariel, keep playing. I want to get better. Uh, I don't, I, I didn't want to give up uh, because uh, uh, it's hockey and it means very much to play it. And uh, now uh, when I play at the U18, um, that makes me proud. It's uh, important to show girls what needs to be done to reach a certain level. And if all our girls travel abroad to Sweden or to Canada or the US, you're telling the young girls that if you want to be on the national team, you have to go to Sweden or Canada or the US. But we need to produce good players at home and we need to show them that this is a place where you can grow and you can become a good player. Events like the IIHF Women's High Performance Camp give players and coaches great exposure to other players and coaches and their thoughts and techniques. It's great motivation for young developing players and programs. When I see the other players, uh, I uh, know for sure what I'm going to practice on home uh, because uh, I think they're on a, another level uh, than me. They are really good and just take this as a uh, experience and uh, I will remember it for the rest of my life and just keep on practice. It's all part of building the game.